Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and in this video we're going to discuss DDR4 RAM versus DDR5 and answer the question of is it worth upgrading and are we even ready? Now DDR5 is the next generation of RAM that has been the subject of speculation for the past couple of years. The release was originally scheduled for 2018 but was pushed back repeatedly, finally releasing on the 14th of July 2020. Typically with RAM more so than other computer components like GPUs and CPUs, there is a significant lag time before other computer hardware actually catches up and is ready to take full advantage of the technology. For DDR5, as was the case with previous generations of RAM, the latest motherboards and processors, even the recent AMD 5000 series, are not DDR5 compatible. Though, it is expected that Intel 12th Gen Alder Lake, scheduled for late 2021, will be. There is yet no official word on when we can expect AMD CPUs to support DDR5, though a recent leak by Gaming Nexus on AMD's roadmap for CPU development shows that Zen 4 CPUs are scheduled for a 2020 release date with DDR5 compatibility. This being the case, DDR5 is not even an option at present. The question is, when it is released, will it be worth the upgrade? So as you can see on screen now, DDR5 promises improvements on DDR4 in the key areas which affect gaming and workstation users, i.e. the memory capacity, speed and also power efficiency. Although lower power consumption for a more powerful chip might seem counterintuitive, the shrinking transistor sizes for the new generation mean increases in both, as was the case with previous DDR generations. The 0.1 volt reduction might not seem like that much and likely won't make a great deal of difference for many PC users, but should mean noticeable increases in battery life for mobile phones when the technology is rolled out. It is important to note that, as is the case with DDR3 and DDR4, the pin layout for DDR5 will be different from preceding generations. This means DDR4 motherboards and DDR5 memory won't be cross compatible. The stock data rate for DDR4 is 1600 to 3200 gigabits per second, and the DDR5, it's 4800 to 6400. There is DDR4 memory available in the market with 5100 gigabits per second, though this will cost you around $900 and it is virtually pointless expense for gaming. Overclocking RAM in the BIOS can also bring additional gains. Ultimately, DDR5 offers the potential for off spec clock frequencies to be pushed even further and more room for overclocking. Though, how long it will take for these to appear and how useful they will actually be, for gamers at least, is not very clear. With RAM specifications, you typically get diminishing returns when you go beyond what the CPU and other hardware needs to operate at maximum efficiency. We know, for instance, that the new AMD Ryzen 5000 series operate best with RAM at around 4,000 gigabits per second or 2,000 megahertz. It is expected that DDR5 will have about the same latency as DDR4, although technical improvements enabling the memory to be processed, even while some of its memory banks are being refreshed, may give some improvements over its predecessor at least after the technology is fine-tuned. Ultimately, we do not have any access to any information regarding timings for DDR5 as of yet. It took manufacturers some time to refine the technology to a point it outperformed the predecessing generation. Only time will tell whether the same proves the same for DDR5. We know that DDR5 has the potential for up to four times the memory of DDR4, up to 64 gigs per chip for UDIM memory. There is the potential to stack up to eight of these chips when the motherboard technology becomes available. This is likely 2022 at the earliest, meaning a system RAM of 512 gigabyte, which is an absurd amount of memory. Bear in mind that until recently, your low to medium spec gaming setup only really needed eight gigs of RAM, though we now recommend 16 gigabytes as standard. When testing the new Ryzen 5000 series processors, we found that the jump from 16 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte did make a substantial difference to performance. For video editors, 32 gigs of RAM would be the standard with an upgrade to 64 gigabytes if you were handling 4K footage. Still, taking your RAM up to 64 gigabyte can be easily accomplished using four x sticks of DDR4. Even if we imagine a situation where 64 gigabyte still isn't sufficient for a desktop user over the next year, topping up the RAM with an additional 16 gigabyte DDR4 sticks would likely be the most viable option rather than having to transition to DDR5. So let's address the question of how much does RAM actually affect your PC's performance? Now, historically, RAM was quite low down the priority list when it comes to components for a new gaming build. Although a minimum amount of RAM capacity is absolutely necessary, particularly if you are looking to build a PC that can be used for video editing and other workstation tasks. Increases from RAM can be particularly notable when playing games on 1080p resolution. The more you up the resolution of the game above 1080p, the more it becomes GPU bound instead of CPU bound. 1080p gaming is therefore more reliant on CPU performance and improving both the memory speed and size improves the performance of the CPU. You do, however, get diminishing returns the higher the resolution goes. Similarly, certain game types are more dependent on CPU performance, such as Microsoft Flight Simulator. FPS performance on these games can be improved noticeably through upgrading your RAM, as this removes bottlenecks on your CPU's performance. By the same logic, onboard graphics such as AMD's AMU utilize onboard RAM as VRAM, so upgraded RAM may benefit your average laptop users more. As mentioned, AMD's Zen 2 CPUs were more dependent on RAM than their Intel rivals. 
16 gigabytes was generally required to get the most out of the higher end of the Ryzen 3000 series, Zen 3 architecture, according to AMD themselves, has a sweet spot of 4000 gigabits per second RAM in order to achieve maximum CPU performance. Our own testing of the new AMD Zen 3 processors has found that the jump from 16 gigabytes of RAM to 32 made a huge difference in terms of FPS. This clearly shows the performance bottleneck that can occur if RAM is not sufficient. So in summary, whilst the benefits that DDR5 offers is exciting, the reality is that we will not see PCs begin to utilize these benefits until this time next year. And even then, it's unlikely that we'll see CPUs able to fully unlock the potential of DDR5 until beyond 2022. Thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, that'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe to our channel if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload like this one. And if you click over here, this will take you to another one of our YouTube videos that we know you will enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.